Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. I'm Joni Young if you're new here and thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you all step by step how to paint this relaxing, kind of romantic garden scene at dusk. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of white with a little bit of warm yellow, primary yellow, my cool and my warm yellow. And I'm just going to block in some rectangles because we're painting on a gray canvas, so this is gray primed, um, it makes for a really nice underpainting. I can't really explain why it does that, <laughs> I don't really know, but it just does. So trust me guys, if you haven't tried working on one before, you really should and you'll see what a difference it makes. Um, so I'm just gonna just add a little bit more of the yellows and you can leave a little space in between if you like for when we come in and add our cool blue shadows. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back over with some warm yellow and the orange and we'll add a little across the top, down the side. We're not gonna be able to see anything inside. That's not the main focus of this painting. We just wanna create a mood and a suggestion of some warm light inside. I'm going to add a little bit of this down here on the grass. We'll be coming over with some of our greens later on, but just for now, let's have a little bit of light glowing down on the grass. Okay, so I'm going to take my flat brush clean with some blue violet. I'm going to go right in between the windows. A little bit of white with that. It's up to you if you want to go straight across or make some of your windows a little lower or higher. That'll change the perspective as well. However, it's probably easier just to go right over and make them the same. Use a little bit of water to help work that paint out, to release that paint out of my brush. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure my brush is nice and flat. Get a little bit of blue on the end of it. And I'm gonna just go right across. The next thing I'm gonna do is go down to a smaller flat brush and I'm gonna take some purple, a little bit of blue. You can use any purple that you want. Any purple mixed with like light blue violet, it's gonna look really pretty. And I'm just gonna come across and just catch the edge, adding a little bit extra. I like to get away with a little bit of color everywhere I can, be able to have it feel like it's nighttime. Okay, so just a little bit of purple in there, purple and blue. I'm going to go ahead and just walk in a little bit here. This will kind of peek through uh, the green and the flowers that we eventually add. You're going to need a, a mop brush for this step, and I've got a large one here. You wanna make sure your mop brushes are dry for this next um, technique and brush stroke. So I wanna start with a base of purple and sap green. So I'm just gonna pull into both like this, tap them together, you get this beautiful, rich, dark, earthy green. And I'm gonna come in, I wanna leave the outside gray 
and start partially on the gray and overlap on the purple. So I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to show you how you can create a vine look with a flat brush just using the corner. So just with the corner of the brush, scoop up some green di or dioxazine purple and sap green and push and tap. Making them a little bit fuller at the top and then smaller as they go down. Types of leaves here. Just a little impressionistic so you don't have to think about creating all the details of every single leaf to make them look okay i'm going to go over to another mop brush so i'm just going to tap in to a little bit of the white a little bit of my greens here turquoise light olive green a little bit of yellow And I'm going to start tapping up like this, just with the end of my brush. And I'm going to paint some uh, flower stalks say like maybe uh, lupin, delphinium, or um, foxglove, something kind of like that that grows in a stalk. Um, they get narrower towards the top and they're a little fuller as they get down. So I'm just going to do this impressionistically like I mentioned before. I'll take a little bit of white and blue. No water on my brush, so I'm just loading the end like this. And I'm going to start tap, tap, tap at the top and then kind of curve over where you can start at the bottom tap 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 and then make it narrower so i really love the way um delphinium tends to grow and uh fox gloves they kind of get a curve to them so i'm going to add that to the painting all these little touches when you choose to put something on an angle, you give it movement, it gives the painting more feeling. A little bit of neon rose with some blue and a little bit of white. And let's come in here and start adding a few more. I'm going to take some more now and I'm going to start adding some blobs. Yep, just little blobs. Wiggle, wiggle, going around. A little bit of white on my brush. Take a little bit of purple and blue and a little bit of that as well. And I'm going to add some up here. I think I'll add some coming down in here for our mat post. I'm going to be using a teeny tiny flat brush here and I'm going to start off with the light inside of it. So I'm just going to take some soft primary yellow and a little bit of white and I'm going to add an oval shape. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is come in with some purple and some light blue violet. We're going to add a hat <laughs> or a lid or a top to our lamp post, so a little line across like that, and then paint a very pointy triangle and then we'll add a little dab on the top of it. Okay, then I'm gonna go right under the base, add a little line there as well. And 
And we want our lamp post to come down to right about here. And we're going to pull this way for a little rectangle, come out a little bit wider for the bottom one. Going to add a little curl in, around, and down. And go right underneath there, around, add a little, little triangle that comes to a point, and then down. So I'll just take some of the orange, orange, white, yellow. Stick a little bit more yellow in there. And then I'm going to come inside. Then a little bit of purple. I'm going to go right underneath that lid. So we're going to paint the table first and then the chairs. And I'm going to paint the table the blue purple, and a little bit of uh, turquoise. So start the table right here. Add a line, flat line, about inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches. I'm going to drop it down like a waterfall, how we would paint a waterfall. In strips like this so that we're left with some folds and creases in the tablecloth. I'm just going to go across the top with a little bit of white. Just add a few lines there with some white and blue, light blue violet, and in between with some of the purple, turquoise, and blue. Okay, then I'm going to add a chair on either side. We're just going to add this little flat pancake shape, one there, one there, take some blue and go inside of it and take a little bit of white and blue and I'm going to go up and over and then bring it in. Up and over, bring a leg down there, one back there, another one on that side, and one on this corner. So you want to have four legs, one there, here, the back, and on this side. I had a few designs here in the middle. So go curl up and around. Reload your brush, opposite way, curl up and around. You can take a little bit of concentration, it'll look so pretty. Feel free to sketch it out first. I'm going to add some white along the 
the top. Okay, we'll add that little curl up here. Okay, so before I add the candle, a little candelabra, I think. That's what I would want, so I love candelabras. I've got a couple in my studio here. I'm just going to add a little glow to the table, maybe a little hint to the chairs. Here's my candelabra, and I'm just going to do a little bit of purple, and I'll add a little pedestal here, a little bit of a flat bottom, and then I'm going to come out, loop, loop up in the center. So we'll have one on the top like that, and then just a little line, and then one there. I'm going to add my candles. So I'm going to use the warm peach. One, two, three. I'm going to add a little dab of white. Just a little bit of neon red and a little bit of white and a little bit of purple. We'll try to make sort of a Merlot color here. Okay, so we're going to add a line like that and then just scoop down. With just white, clean brush, we're going to go around the glass. Clean brush and add a little bit, another dab of white inside of here. Be sure to leave a comment below. Have fun painting this. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching and for all of your support here and on Patreon and Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, wherever you follow me. I'm wishing you guys all the best and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!